Hi everyone, <clears throat> this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a few pages from my December album for Lottie Loves Paper. I'm using the Hey Santa collection by Crate Paper, available at Lottie Loves Paper. Um, okay, so I am going to be doing an insert today as well as pages five and six. Um, you are, I'm going to do the insert a bit later on, but I've pulled out a page protector that has uh, six two by two squares, so really cute, and I'm just going to make, I say it's just going to be an insert for pretty things. It has no uh, practical purpose other than the fact that it looks pretty. <laughs> So I'm going to add that later on. Um, so now I'm going to be working on pages five and six. So for some reason I'm starting with page uh, six first. Um, so I've pulled out uh, another piece of my favourite pink cardstock which is called 22 Pink by um, Basil. Um, and um, I have cut it big. So I, basically this page on the right is not going to be inside a page protector. Um, so I've cut it to... Let's have a look nine and a half inches wide so it's the normal eight inches high but it's nine and a half inches wide now the reason for that is because um, I wanted to have a fold out piece on the right hand side so you can see what I've done over there on the right I'm going to have a narrow piece that's going to fold over and I want my six by eight paper um, in the middle sitting sitting there but because of the because there's no page protector I needed a margin on the left side as well so I had to allow half an inch it's actually not half an inch I don't think nearly half an inch uh, for um, the margin on the left hand side. Now the holes are going to be punched in there um, and that uh, effectively <clears throat> equals the margin on the page protector where the holes are. Um, so I didn't want to lose a half an inch of my page by um, doing by punching holes in that so um, that's that's how I've done that so over on the right hand side I have made a little pocket um, I've just um, taken a piece of the same cardstock 2-2 pink cardstock um, and um, cut it at an angle um, and then sewn that onto the outside uh, sorry the that side the uh, it's the inside not the outside <laughs> of that flip out um so sorry getting my words and my insides and my outsides muddled up but basically that's going to be a little pocket sewn around three sides top side open cut at an angle and it's going to have two tags in there so these two tags are from the cut apart sheet from hey santa and i've um cut them apart obviously distressed the edges punched holes in them i'm adding silver twine uh, to those two tags um, now they can either have photos on the back or they could have journaling now the back of that paper is quite dark it's a deep green i don't think i could write on that um, and it show up well enough uh, so i'd probably do white strips or I would do a larger piece of white or pink um, and uh, stick that on so that I could write on it properly. Um, or I could add photos, of course, or I could do types journaling um, and I could print it onto white cards. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I have a few options uh, to go on the back of those tags. The fronts are too pretty. I've got uh, Santa on one. He's a lovely Santa, isn't he, in this collection? Um, and then red and white polka dots on the others on, on, the, on the other ones. So, uh, a couple of options for those um, tab tags. Um, oh, now I'm moving on to the insert for some reason. I don't know uh, what was what possessed me normally I do one page at a time I normally do them in order so normally I would have done page five then I would have done page six then I would have done the insert so I'm I'm clearly all over the place at the moment um so uh, sorry about sorry about that but anyway moving on to the insert um I've got these uh six uh, two by two squares in my page protector and I'm just going to add a few bits and pieces from the hay center collection as well as some wood veneer pieces uh, from my stash. Uh, we had this um, set of wood veneer pieces for a go-go class years ago, literally four or five years ago, I think. Um, and anyway, this piece, this wood veneer pack um, left over from that class has been sitting um, in my uh, stash for so long um, and I'd never used it. So this year was the year to use it. So I've uh, got some wood veneer pieces um, that are that are coming in there so goodness knows how they say they are at least four or five years old I'm sure um, I don't even know who they're made by um, but uh, anyway so I've popped a couple of wood veneer pieces inside my insert um, I've got some of the confetti from the Hey Santa collection in the top right I've got some 
uh, I've got a vellum snowflake and some gold so snow sorry the vellum snowflake is from the uh, ephemera then I have some gold snowflakes acetates from the um, from the little confetti pack um, and then I'm adding two wood veneers from that piece that I had um, that that set that I had and then I've got a rain vellum rainbow in the bottom left um, but I wanted to paint my wood veneers and because they're double sided I wanted to paint both sides so I think that's probably why I went and did the insert now so that they had some time to dry um, but uh, the do, two wood veneers I've painted with uh, gold shimmers paint um, so that they will have a nice gold sparkle. I mean, to be fair, wood veneers are quite goldy colours anyway, um, but the adding the gold paint doesn't radically change what they look like, but it does make them sparkle and just gives a subtle, uh, pretty gold colour. So, um, all good. So anyway, that's the insert and that's now drying, and then I'll come back and have to colour, uh, sorry, do the other side of those wood veneers um, soon as well. Um, so going back to my page six, um, you can see that I'm... Uh, I've got my two pockets, no I haven't, I've got my two tags in my pocket. Um, I've also covered my pocket in some pattern paper. So that is um, a piece of pattern paper from the Hey Santa collection. I'm not sure if it's a six by eight or if it's, I've dug to cut into my 12 by 12s. Um, but um, I've added that to the pocket in the same, just you know, a tiny bit smaller than the um, original size of the pocket. Um, I've just added a chipboard frame. That's from the Hey Santa chipboard um, papers. No, it's not papers. The Hey Santa chipboard stickers. <laughs> um, and then over on the left side of that frame, I'm adding a postage stamp. Now that's a vellum postage stamp uh, from the ephemera. Um, it didn't look right um, in vellum because you could see the frame through it. So I've just stuck it onto a piece of white card and then cut it out uh, so that I have a white backing on that piece of vellum. And then I've added my number and a Santa sticker. Um, now I'm working on the um, other side of the flip up or the flip open. Um, so I'm gonna cover that piece um, in um, pattern paper. So I've just cut that to size and now I'm adding some pom-poms because everybody needs pom-poms so I've got pink ones and red ones and I'm doing a double layer of pom-poms here so I've added the pink just stuck it with tape and now I'm adding the red ones in between um, and then I'm going to stitch that in place so that it does not move um, because that's pretty bulky um, and I wouldn't just trust my tape so definitely going to run that through my sewing machine um, I'm just running going to run the patterned paper through the sewing machine not with it stuck on the um not with it stuck on the card as well so I've, I've already done that so I've just I've done the sewing on there and now I'm just sticking that piece in place so that's looking now lovely um the way that that flips open you've got the pom-poms there um in the middle of the page rather than on the outside edge and then of course when you flip open it's on the outside edge so it looks really really lovely um, I do need to decorate the um, other side of the uh, flip open now I don't know what I'm going to do on the big red area I might add a large photo there or something not quite sure yet I'm going to wait and see what happens on the day um, and uh, this I believe is a weekend um, I might be, I might have that wrong hold on let me just check my um, my calendar um, so uh, because when I go through my December daily my December album um, I when I'm creating extra um, areas for extra photos for example I normally try to make sure they're at weekends because that's at the moment this year we're going to be in the UK and we're going to be at school up until like the 19th of December or something like that 18th 19th of December so that means every day is just school um, until uh, until the Christmas holidays begin um, and uh, of course we, there's only so much you can do on a school day right so we're not going to get loads of photos we will do something Christmassy every day hopefully um, but uh, there's only so much we can do so um, I try to make sure that anywhere I have room for extra photos I make sure it's a weekend so yes I am right page five is a Saturday and page six is a Sunday um, so that is why I've gone a bit more uh, I've added a bit of extra room here because hopefully we will do something um, even if we're at the moment while I'm recording this we're still in uh, lockdown um, but by then we should by the 5th and the 6th of December we should be out of lockdown so hopefully we might see uh, my family or 
we might be able to actually go somewhere and do something although I'm not holding out much hope it's not looking great is it guys um, <laughs> anyway by the time this video goes live you never know uh, we might know the answer to that question um, okay so just coming back to my insert here just painting the other side of those um, those wood veneers so that they uh, have got time to dry and they a lovely gold shimmers paint um, so pretty I really love painting wood veneers with shimmers paints um, because they suck up the paint and they take it so well um, and they look beautiful and the shimmer just sits on the surface of the wood veneers and looks beautiful so that's one of my favorite things to do with wood veneer paint them with shimmers um, okay over on the left hand side I'm working on page five now so doing this all completely backwards today for some reason um, I've got my coordinating piece of red polka dot paper on the left my strip um, then I've added a tag that says fun from the ephemera I've added um, some gold um, leaves from the phrase thickers and some stars my number and a little Santa uh, puffy sticker. I've also added another tag that's from the I think that's from the cut apart sheet um, on the on the right as well to the right of the tag. So now that's page um, five done completely. That was really quite simple. Then over on page six, I'm going back to the other side of my flip out, um, and I've added um, a little ticket that says making a list. Um, that's from the ephemera. So I have distressed the edges of that. Um, added. Um, a little sticker above it that says peace love joy in like a minty green color and then a vellum bow a little mouse sticker and some ivy uh, not ivy holly sticker so there we go that is um pages five and six complete and then i think i've just got to show you my insert so i'm just adding my um photos sorry my completed pages back to my album right now um so that's pages two and three and four going in one two three four going in and now five is going in and now six will go with no page protector okay so that looks good happy with how that's looking it's looking fab awesome and then I need to add in my insert where's that going to go I'm not quite sure where this insert needs to go so it has no purpose other than the fact that it looks pretty so I can add it anywhere in my book um, so the fact that I've made it in between days five and six doesn't have to go there it can go anywhere um, so yeah just kind of going to finish this off by um, my wood veneer is dry so I've added those pieces in um, and then I've got my vellum bow vellum rainbow my two wood veneer pieces the snowflakes and I've got some confetti in the top right that's from the confetti uh, pack uh, by Hey Santa and I would like to add some sequins so I've I'm limited on Christmas sequins although I'm putting putting out quite a collection there you can, you can see um, but I, I've used them all before so I don't have loads of any one um, collection and I do really like my shakers so I need to just make sure that um, I don't overuse them so I'm just popping in a few um, of these Spiegel Mum scrap sequins into three of these pockets so the bottom right with the wood veneer the uh, middle left with the wood veneer and then the top right um, with the um, sequins um, so just adding in some of those golden snowflakes from the confetti pack as well um, I'll have to look up the real name of that. I'm pretty sure it's not called a confetti pack. Um, do I have it to hand? <clears throat> Let's see if I can find it. Um, no, I can't grab it easily. Oh, hold on. I found it. I found it. Um, oh, it is called confetti. Oh, I was right. I was right. Excellent. Okay, so it's called confetti. <laughs> 70 pieces it says of confetti I wonder if anyone actually counted them um, but anyway there are oh, it's got to be more than 70 um, of those little metallic strip things um, yeah anyway so lots of fun things in there some little vellum pieces in there as well really really cute um, but I love the acetate snowflakes the most and the actual confetti um, pieces too they are very very sweet they're kind of like foiled strips um, very interesting great for uh, making fillers shakers like this um, and then I've gone around with my sewing machine and sewn around each pocket the, the entire way around <laughs> that took a while um, but it looks really good so I'm very happy with how this turned out um, thank you very much for joining me today here are some close-up photos um, of the things that I made today um, okay um, thank you so much for joining me don't forget to check out the Hey Santa collection over at Lottie Loves Paper. Um, that was Nikki Rowland for Lottie Loves Paper. <laughs>